Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for the sales order report. And now in the previous video, we created the function group, we created the function module, and now we will write the logic inside the function module. If I will go to the function module, we have two input one for the date, one for the user name. Now just see, for the date and user name, date and user name, we have select option. We do not have parameter. Parameter is for what? Single, single input. Select option is for range of input, multiple inputs, multiple input. We are not going for parameters. We are going for select option. It means in this function module also, the input which we are taking is a select option, select option. Now the most, most important thing Select option is always, always a internal table, internal table of how many columns? Four columns. It is fully, fully explained in the ABAP programming playlist. If I will show you at this point of time in the debugging mode, suppose I am writing some write statement. If I will show you these select options in the debugging mode, select option is always, always an internal table. If I will give some date and go for execute, if I will double click on first select option and second select option, select option is always, always an internal table. If I will double click, you can see we have four columns in the internal table. Sign, option, low and high. Select option is always, always a internal table of four columns. Just see, it is a table itself which has rows and columns. It means in this function module, whatever the input we will take, that is also a internal table in the form of table. One internal table for the date, one internal table for the user name. Now just recall your concepts. Whenever you want a internal table of how many column? Four column. It means we will require a structure of four column. Whenever we want an internal table, it means we will require a structure of how many column? Four column. What are those four column? Sign, option, low, and high. Now, how you are creating a structure? If we know how we are creating a structure, we are creating the structure through types. We are writing types begin of structure name and we will go for four columns. What are those four columns? Sign, option, low and high. Just see, do you have a provision here to create the structure? There is no provision to create a structure through coding here. Can I write a types begin of LTY data sign option low high end of structure? Can I write a code here? I cannot write or I cannot create a structure through coding. And you know, if you cannot create a structure through coding and you want to create a structure, we can create through SC11 transaction code. There is no difference. You can create the structure through SC11. You can create the structure through coding. The difference is whatever we are creating through types, it is a local structure. It is dedicated to that program only. 
but whenever we are creating a structure through SC11, it is a global structure we can use anywhere. So we will create through SC11 and we will use here. We will use here. And why, why we are creating a structure? Because we want internal table. If we want internal table, structure is compulsory. Structure type is compulsory. So firstly, I will create a structure for the creation date. I will go to SC11 transaction code. I will choose the third radio button, data type. Again, instruction document will play a vital role. What is the naming convention for the structure? ZSTR underscore relevant name. Suppose I will write ZSTR underscore ER dat. ER dat means creation date. I will go for create. I will create a structure. I will write here. Structure for creation date. Now, here I need to give how many column? Four column. Sign, option, low and high. So firstly, I will give sign. Type. Just see what is the what is the length or what is the type of sign. Just see in the debugging mode itself. Sign always always has a length of one. Option always has a length of two character two. Low and high it is always always depends upon the field for which field you are going for select option suppose this select option is for date date is that's eight if i will show you the select option for er num means username you can see here low and high is character 12 character 12 because er num is character 12 username is character 12 so sign always has a length of one option has a length of two and low and high length is depending upon the field for which field you are going for select option so firstly i will go for sign and i will simply use a data element CAR1. CAR1 is SAP data element because it starts with C. If I will double click, you can see I will store into package. Do not store it as local package. Anyways, right transport request is coming, but I will go for own request and I will choose the right transport request. This character one data element has a domain of char one. So we have sign is char one. Now, what is second column option? Do not change the name. These are the predefined names of the columns. Option, option is what? Character two. You can see character two is a SAP data element which has a domain of cat 2 and what is low and high low and high always depends upon the field for which field we are going for select option as of now we are going for select option for what er dat so i will simply simply check what is the data element for er dat I will check in the table itself for the ER dat the data element is ER dat so low is ER dat high is ER dat and have you seen this ER dat this data element has a domain of dat's eight it means 
our this low and high is that state. I will simply simply activate the structure. So our structure is ready. Now here we in the function module. Now we will make a internal table. You all know how you can make a internal table. Internal table type table of structure type table of structure. So how I will write? Suppose I will write S E R that. I just gave the name starting with S because it is a select option. I will write here type table of. We will go for important understanding. It is highly, highly explained in the ABAP programming playlist also. I will write type table of. And what is the name of the structure which we created? ZSTR underscore ER tag. You are always declaring the internal table in this way. Internal table type table of structure type. But rather than structure creating through coding, we created the structure through SC11 transaction code. Now, whenever I will press enter, it is clearly saying we cannot use the keyword type table of. Here, type table of keyword is not supporting if type table of keyword is not supporting, but we want internal table. If we want internal table, table word is compulsory. If type table of is not supporting, you all know what is the solution. We need to create a table type, table type. Now just see. Can you create a table type through coding here? No, we cannot create a table type through coding here. It means compulsory we need to create a table type through which transaction code? SC11. So I will create a table type through SC11 transaction code. Ultimately, we will use that structure inside the table type. So I am copying this structure. I will now create a table type. Just I will write T here. Just see, I'll just check the naming convention. ZTT underscore relevant name. So I will write ZTT underscore ER tag. I will go for create table type. So I will write table type for creation. And I will pass the name of the structure. What is the name of the structure? ZSTR underscore ER. So inside this table type, I pass the name of the structure type. Do not forget to save into package. Do not forget to save in the transport request. Do not store as local because we are going for a perception. It is our real project. Now I will copy the name of the table type. Now if I will go to function module. Now type table of is not supporting. So I will remove the word table of. And here I will give the name of the table type. Now done, our internal table is done. Just think what we did. Our select option is a internal table. So how you can go for internal table? Whenever you want internal table, you want structure. Yes, structure of how many column? Four column because select option is a internal table of four column. Yes, it means we need to create a structure of four column. Now, here we cannot create a structure through coding. So we created through SC11. Here it is not accepting type table of. So we created the table type. 
Now, same thing we will do for user name also. Now, I will create a structure type for user name. Now, I will give ZSTR underscore ER now. I will go for create structure. I will write user name, structure for user name, structure type for user name. Same to same, sign, option, low and high, four column because select option is an internal table of always, always four column. What is the length of sign? One. What is the length of option character two? Now low and high. This is the most common mistake, especially from the freshers. Low and high depends upon the field for which field you are going for select option. As of now, we are going for what? ER num. So I will take ER num. I pass that data element. I pass this. So you can see character 12, character 12. I will activate. I will store into package and transport request only. I will choose the right transport request and I will activate. Now, same thing. I cannot use type table of here. So compulsory, we need to create what table type. So I will create a table type ZTT underscore ER. I will go for create table type. I will give the short text. Table type for user name. I will pass the name of the structure. I'll pass the name of the structure type. Now I'm activating the table type. Choose the right package. Yes. Do not store as a local object. Choose the right transport request. And activate. So table type is active. Now I will go for second input for user name. SER num. Now I will go for type because type table of is not accepting and I will pass the name of table type, table type, table word is there because we want a internal table. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, our input to the function module is also also a select option select option means what not single thing we are going for range of input we are going for multiple inputs yes so whenever we have a select option we saw in the debugging mode select option is a internal table of how many column four column sign option low and high and we have the rows Table is what? Rows and columns itself. Now, if you want internal table of four column, it means you require a structure of four column. If you want a structure type of four column, how you can create a structure? Through types. Begin of those four columns. But here we do not have a provision to write the code. So we created the structure type for which transaction code SC11. Now, after that, how you can go for internal table? Internal table, type table of your structure name. But type table of is not accepting. It is not accepting the table word. If it is not accepting the table word, but we want table, so we created the table type. Yes, yes, 
So we remove the keyword type table off and we pass the name of the table type. Table type again we created through SC11 only because I cannot create a table type through coding here. Same thing I did for second input also that is user name. In the next video, we will go for the export because our export is also a internal table of how many columns, six columns. If you see the output, our export is also also a table in the form of table because we have multiple rows and columns. Yes, whenever we have rows and columns, it means it is a table table. So our output is also a internal table of six column. That part we will continue in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.